Nigeria and Cameroon are West African neighboring countries with many interests in common, such as football, music, and spicy food. They do, however, have some distinctions. Being Africa's most populated country, Nigeria has the highest proportion of black people in the world. It also has a thriving film industry, which is the world's second largest Nigeria, is known as the Giant of Africa. And it is home to a diverse range of ethnicities, languages, and butterfly species. Cameroon, on the other hand, is considered one of Africa's fortunate countries and is often referred to as Africa in miniature due to its rich diversity that spans the entire continent. So let's explore both of these remarkable countries together. Nigeria has more than eight times the population of Cameroon. It is a diverse country with many ethnic groups, languages, and cultures. The country's population has been rapidly growing in recent years, with an estimated annual growth rate of 2.6%. Cameroon, on the other hand, has a smaller population but a more diverse culture. With an estimated 2.3% growth rate, the population is growing at a slower rate than Nigeria. With an average population density of 215 people per square kilometer, Nigeria is one of the most densely populated countries in Africa. Cameroon, on the other hand, has a lower population density of 50 people per square kilometer. Because of Nigeria's high population density, many families live in cramped quarters with limited access to basic necessities, such as healthcare and education. Because of Cameroon's lower population density, families have more space and access to basic amenities. The official language of Nigeria is English, but the country is home to over 500 indigenous languages. Cameroonians speak English, French, and a variety of local languages. Let's take a closer look. Nigeria, which was a British colony until it gained independence in 1960, has English as its official language. However, over 500 indigenous languages are spoken throughout the country, including the most widely spoken Hausa, Yoruba, and Eko. Because of the Cameroon's colonial history, both English and French are official languages in Cameroon. The western and central parts of the country are more heavily spoken in French, while the eastern and southern parts are more heavily spoken in English. Cameroon also has dozens of local languages, including Bamalik, Fulfold, and Iwando. Nigeria is one of the most linguistically diverse countries in the world, with over 500 indigenous languages spoken. This diversity can be a strength, but it can also create communication barriers and make promoting national unity difficult. The use of both French and English as official languages in Cameroon has aided in the promotion of bilingualism and cultural exchange. The dominance of French in some parts of the country, however, has caused tensions and calls for greater recognition of local languages. Language use and promotion are also influenced by education. English is taught in schools and is the language of instruction in higher education in Nigeria. Both French and English are taught in schools in Cameroon but the quality of language education varies across the country. Nigeria has a vibrant and diverse culture with over 250 ethnic groups and a long history of art, music, and dance. Nigerian music, such as Afrobeats and High Life, has gained international acclaim, and Nigerian fashion has become a global trend. Cameroon is also a culturally diverse country with many ethnic groups and cultural traditions. Cameroonian music is known for its rhythm and energy, and Cameroonian cuisine is a fusion of French, African, and local influences. Festivals are an important part of both countries' cultural expression. Festivals in Nigeria, such as the Osinosago Festival and the Calabar Carnival, honor art, music and tradition. 
Festivals in Cameroon, such as the Ngondo Festival and the Ayo Festival, honor cultural heritage and diversity. Another important aspect of Nigerian and Cameroonian culture is traditional crafts. Weaving, pottery and wood carving are popular in Nigeria, while beadwork, basketry and wood carving are well known in Cameroon. The oil industry dominates Nigeria's economy, accounting for roughly 90% of the country's export earnings. Nigeria is Africa's largest oil producer and the world's 12th largest. However, by investing in agriculture, manufacturing and technology, the country is attempting to diversify its economy. Nigeria has experienced both growth and recession in recent years in terms of economic growth. The country's GDP increased by 1.9% in 2018, but then decreased by 1.9% in 2020 as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic. Cameroon's economy has been more stable in recent years, with an average annual growth rate of around 4%. Infrastructure is also an important factor in economic development. Nigeria has a more developed infrastructure than Cameroon, with better roads, airports, and other facilities. Cameroon, on the other hand, has made significant investments in improving its infrastructure in recent years. Nigeria outperforms Cameroon in terms of economic indicators such as GDP, inflation, and unemployment. Both countries, however, face challenges such as poverty, corruption, and political insecurity. Nigeria has a history of political unrest, with frequent protests, corruption, and human rights violations. The country has experienced several military coups and a civil war, and there are ongoing conflicts in some parts of the country, such as the Boko Haram insurgency in the Northeast. Cameroon has also experienced political unrest, particularly in the country's Anglophone regions. Protests and clashes between Anglophone separatists and government forces have occurred, as have allegations of human rights violations. Elections are an essential component of democratic governance, and both Nigeria and Cameroon have held several in recent years. However, both countries have faced allegations of election irregularities, vote rigging and violence. Political stability is also influenced by leadership. Long-serving leaders in both Nigeria and Cameroon have been chastised for their handling of political and social issues. Nigeria's landscape is diverse, with savannas, tropical rainforests, mountains and coastline. The northern savannas of the country are home to a variety of wildlife, including elephants, lions and cheetahs. Cameroon's landscape is also diverse, with rainforests, mountains and coastline. The rainforests of the country are home to a number of rare and endangered species, including gorillas, chimps, and forest elephants. Geographically, Nigeria is larger than Cameroon and has a wider range of landscapes. Cameroon's rainforests and mountainous terrain, on the other hand, are unique and important for biodiversity conservation. Both countries share a coastline along the Gulf of Guinea, which serves as a vital economic and cultural crossroads. Nigeria has a longer and more developed coastline, with several major ports and cities. The coastline of Cameroon is shorter and less developed, but it is still important for fishing and trade. With over 27 million students enrolled in primary and secondary schools, Nigeria has one of the largest education systems in Africa. However, significant disparities in educational access persist, particularly for girls and children living in rural areas. Cameroon has also made strides in improving educational access, with free primary education and compulsory schooling for children ages 6 to 14. Access to education, however, remains a challenge in some parts of the country, particularly in conflict-affected Anglophone regions. 
When it comes to education enrollment, Nigeria outnumbers Cameroon at both the primary and secondary levels. However, both countries face difficulties in keeping students in school and providing a high-quality education. Teachers are an important factor in educational quality, and both Nigeria and Cameroon face a teacher shortage. Many teachers in Nigeria are poorly trained and underpaid, whereas Cameroon has a teacher shortage in rural areas and a high turnover rate. Education spending is also an important factor in determining educational quality. Both Nigeria and Cameroon have increased their education budgets in recent years, but more investment in education infrastructure and teacher training is still required. And finally, let's talk about infrastructure. In comparison to many other African countries, Nigeria has a relatively well-developed infrastructure. The country has a highway, railway, and airport network, though the quality of these infrastructure sectors varies across the country. However, the country's infrastructure is aging and in need of replacement. Cameroon's infrastructure is less developed than that of Nigeria, especially in rural areas. The country has a sparse network of highways, railways, and airports, many of which are in poor condition. However, in recent years, the government has made efforts to improve the country's infrastructure. When it comes to infrastructure development, Nigeria is ahead of Cameroon in terms of overall quality and quantity. In recent years, Nigeria has made significant investments in infrastructure development, particularly in the transportation and energy sectors. Cameroon has also made some progress in terms of infrastructure development, but there is still a long way to go. Infrastructure spending is a critical component of infrastructure development. Both Nigeria and Cameroon have increased their infrastructure spending in recent years, but more investment in infrastructure development is still required to improve the overall quality and quantity of infrastructure. If you would love to keep getting content like this, please hit the like button and also subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos.